All right, so welcome back. We are going for another ride today, and it is dark out here. I'm the only one awake in my house. Like I said, it's about 5.30, going on 6 o'clock now. So, about to hop in the car. I'm not going to film me driving at night. That's way too dangerous. But, yeah, you know, just like to try and do a vlog. You know, early in the morning, take a, take a walk, you know see how it is walking at night but it's so dark out here my street barely has any street lights so you can't even see anything i'm gonna go check the mail right now <laughs> but so we're gonna get in the car yep don't have any mail we're gonna get in the car and take a ride to fort lewis washington i have something i need to do and i'll let you know what it is when we get there all right. So we are on Fort Lewis, Washington. So what am I doing here today? I am here to get my COVID vaccine, not COVID vaccine, but a COVID test. So this will be the first time I've ever taken a COVID test, and I don't know what to expect. I've seen videos, what they do in other places, so let's see what they're going to do here. See if they're going to even let me film them doing it. But all right, I'll talk to you all soon. All right, so welcome back. So let's get back to that swab test, that COVID-19 swab test, COVID swab test. It wasn't bad. It wasn't as bad as everyone was making it out to be. There we go. You can see me. So, yeah. This, the COVID test is not that... It's not bad at all. It only took a couple seconds. And uh, they, they they took a swab and they, they went up each, each nostril. So they went up this nostril, and then they went up this nostril. At least that was the test that they did for me. Um, uh, yeah, it was only about three seconds, four seconds per nostril. Not bad at all. Uh, the only bad thing that I had, that I felt about this test was that I, I started tearing up afterwards. And other than that, didn't wasn't bad. And just just a little burning, stinging sensation. I guess it's from the the alcohol on a swab test. Uh, about three four minutes afterwards. Other than that, it was way way too easy. I don't know why everybody's scared to take a uh, a swab test for this thing. Not bad at all. Easy. So hopefully uh, on Monday, it or actually Sunday or maybe later on today. I don't know. But they gave me some paperwork to, uh, they gave me some paperwork to, to check it out, make sure that, uh, to log in and make sure that I'm, um, I'm free. I don't have any issues so I can get the surgery done on Monday because I've been trying to get this hernia fixed forever. I swear to God. And I'm ready to get back in the gym and to push myself. I, I want to get back into shape. I've made mention of that before on on these videos. And that was just one of the issues that was holding me back from actually physically exerting myself in the gym is that hernia. So, yeah. Uh, so, something else. Uh, a buddy helped me out. Uh, underneath the hood of my car a couple weeks ago and when we opened it we found this big mouse or a rat i don't know what it was it's crazy that i've never had anything like that happen before but apparently this critter was was making a home underneath the hood of my car in the engine engine block and i talked to some other friends and they said oh a lot of critters like to do that because the engine's warm and it's just warmer all around inside the the engine of your vehicle i'm just like man so a couple of buddies that i that i had on facebook they they uh they they gave me a couple suggestions uh you know glue traps uh poison and uh you know i guess a smoke bomb something like that and so 
I've been using rat pellet poisoning. You know, I just went to Walmart, picked up this little tray of rat poisoning pellets, and I've been sticking it underneath the hood. Every time I, 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 I get home from driving, you know, I put it back inside. Then I get, if I go somewhere, I take it back out. And I also have a trap inside the vehicle. So I don't think it's working because I, I opened it up this morning, <laughs> took it out, and old boy had made himself up, ate some more of my stinking insulation in my vehicle and made himself a new home. So when we get back to the house, I'm going to destroy his home yeah I'm, I'm mean i'm going to destroy his home put some uh rat pellet poisoning back in there again and since i was out i decided to stop at home depot and i'm going to see what else i can buy within reason for the pocketbook to get rid of this guy because he he's big he's at least the size of my hand I guess my hand's a little over five, five inches or so, six inches, I don't know, seven, I don't know, but he was big. I know, I just caught him out the corner of my eye when, when my buddy opened up my, my hood, and I know he's big and white. He was fat, and he had a very long tail, so I don't know too much about rodents, because I really haven't ever seen rodents, other than when I was a younger, younger child growing up, so... Let's mask up, walk in here at the Home Depot and see what I can find. All right. So we are just walking, walking. I don't think my Yeah, I don't think my microphone is working too well, but hey, I'm going to walk through uh, Home Depot today, get this rat stuff or mouse stuff, whatever it's called. Hopefully I can get this thing out the car because I don't want this thing to eat up my wires and cause more damage. So... Hopefully this thing is recording my audio. It does not look like it. And they have music playing in here too. Oh, hey. First aisle I went to. Perfect. So here we go. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do a Maybe, maybe if I, maybe if I spray this, 
rodent repellent inside my vehicle. Not inside the vehicle, but inside the, the hood area, the engine, engine block area. Maybe that will work. It says safe for use around pets and kids, long lasting and rain resistant. That's what we need here in Washington, rain resistant. It says keep mice and rats out. Hmm. Let's see. And this one's nine dollars. So it's cheaper than those baits I bought. But I don't want to keep them out. I want to kill them because <laughs> I don't want them to come back. But I don't see a fogger. The guy told me to buy a fogger. And I am not seeing any kind of fogger here. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know if YouTube is going to get me for the music playing, which I hope they don't. So they got a lot of traps. Like I would say the thing that's underneath the, the hood is about this size of this trap. Let's see if you can see that better. So it's about the size of this trap. This thing, this thing was big. I'm telling you guys, it was big. So I remember when I was young at my grandma's house, when I was really, really young, I guess about eight. They had mouse traps like this, and I was playing with it. And my dumb self touched this thing, snapped my finger. Oh my god, that was so painful. <laughs> so I'm kind of scared to use these things right now because I I don't want to snap my fingers because that was terrible. Yeah, because if if I bought a, tra a trap this size, I think he'll just take it with him. <laughs> I don't think it was gonna it hurt him. Probably startle him. Here's a smaller one. But yeah. You don't have a fogger for this thing. Uh, got glue traps, but I don't know. I don't know. So I'm gonna buy this this repellent. I'm gonna buy this. What is this? Tomcat rodent repellent. Hopefully, hopefully that will keep them out of my engine block. But like I said, I don't want to repel them. I want to kill them <laughs> and send a message that you, you cannot live inside my vehicle. So here's another little one. But yeah, all, all this is for bugs, garden bugs and everything. It's not what I need. But uh... Huh. Oh, well. This is Home Depot, so maybe if I try some other place, because I think I got that trap at Walmart. Maybe if I try Lowe's, they might have something different. But, yeah, that's it. Uh, let's, let's go to checkout and... Try another store while, while I'm out and about. But I'm going to buy this Tomcat rodent repellent and give this, give this a shot as soon as we get back to the house.